Tonight, another story about people in Cleveland living without water. We first told you about Albert Pickett, who didn't have water for six years. I would take a bucket of water and pour it over myself and bathe, and then take another bucket of water and rinse myself with it. Now, another Cleveland man says he knows exactly what that's like as well. 70-year-old David Nesbitt Jr. saw Albert's story, and he reached out to share his shocking experience with us, too. And he tells our Five on Your Side investigator, Jonathan Walsh, he's trapped in a blame game between his landlord and Cleveland Water. I was raised down on 81st and Kinsman. This is 70-year-old David Nesbitt Jr.'s life right now. In a wheelchair, not in good health. I've had nine mini strokes, three heart attacks, two kidney failures and two heart failures. And not having any running water for almost a full year. I try to do what I need to do to sustain myself to continue to stay here. David moved into this house in 1995. He says his previous two landlords included water in the rent. His most recent landlord does not. His water was shut off while he was in the hospital. I had a heart attack with a stroke, and I went to the hospital, and from the hospital they moved me to St. Augustine Nursing Home. David says he was not able to pay for a long time while recovering in a facility. He says he called Cleveland Water to set up a payment plan, but water reps told him no. So he called us. Because I was at the turning point, I didn't know what to do. And I just, I just, I'm sorry. I just had to call. State of Ohio has the heat program, but that takes care of heating and cooling bills. Nothing like that for water. So in this case, Cleveland Water says the issue falls back on the landlord. The landlord says it's DeVete's responsibility. Meanwhile, he's stuck in the middle with no water since March of last year. Sometimes I sit here when I'm by myself and I cry. You know, because I felt that the city could have did something to help me. Oh. Mm. Oh, Lord. Here's a man who struggles to get around his own home and into the kitchen. Go to the faucet and there's no water. Struggles to bathe using hand sanitizer or rolling to a friend's house. I have to shower over there. I can wash up clean. here. I have to heat the water on the stove like they did before all this was invented. Struggles with his life as he knows it today. It's not fair. I'm not supposed to be like this 70 years old with no water. Cleveland Water claims there were a couple of cases of tampering with the meter. DeVete, especially in his condition, says he never did it. Water reps say someone did, and the bill is in the landlord's name. Ohio law states landlords are responsible for supplying running water. We kept calling the landlord, Keanu Ligon, leaving messages and getting hung up on. We went looking for Kiana, no answer. So we called again. Hi, Kiana, it's Jonathan Walsh from News 5. She told us she was in Egypt for 11 days and just got back. She promised to take care of the water and sewer charges. You're going to pay the water bill tomorrow? She never made that payment. <clears throat> so here's a man who sits in his wheelchair, who gets dialysis on a regular basis through his port, who's lived here 25 years. That's a bad feeling for somebody to tell you they don't care, that you just, you're just here for nothing. And who's waiting for water. That's bad, it really is. I'm Five On Your Side investigator, Jonathan Walsh.